good afternoon to one and all dear jury members respected uh, faculty members everyone so myself vanika mehta and i will be presenting the topic examination of mimic voices in a forensic prospect uh, so i will be presenting it and i am a teaching and research assistant at school of forensic science nfsu gandhinagar uh, the author details are dr niharika srivastav ap in gd goenka university dr shivani sharma jso cfsl chandigarh shri dp gangwar uh, ad and scientist c cfsl chandigarh and dr subhi mathur senior assistant professor sfs nfsu so let me just discuss with the objectives of my study which is to uncover the differences and similarities that we see between the mimic and the original voice and to compare the mimic and the specimen voice of the person through the auditory analysis and spectrographic analysis now the question arises what mimic voices what original voices and what specimen voices the studies which have been conducted till now has already compare has uh, only compared the original and the mimic voices but in my study i have taken the initiative to compare the original voice along with the mimic voice along with the specimen voice of the person who had tried to imitate the voice of another person so specimen voice is basically the voice of the person who has uh, mimicked the voice of another person but in uh, when he is speaking normally that will be his uh, you know that will be his specimen voice the need of study why do i take in this topic is that disguised voices are acting as a challenge to the forensic speaker identification and currently we can see there are so many applications in the computers like voice changers voice modulators electronic voices voice calls all these things are challenge to the forensic speaker identification and now i have added some cases where we can see the conman has offered the mantralya job to the common people and have you know had so many amounts of money he offered them revenue officer job and and so many mantralya jobs by mimicking the voice of the parliamentary officers and they uh, he grabbed the money from the common people similarly a case of kashmir has been seen wherein a people uh, a person has mimicked the voice of uh, union minister abdullah and he also uh, you know tried to distributed the voice uh, the seats of mantralya like revenue officer home ministry and all such uh, post by uh, you know grabbing the money from them and there was a very recent case which happened in february 2022 where is the case from kochi where the actor the dilip the, the singh uh, this uh, actor clip uh, you know he claimed that uh, he has been accused of false allegations wherein you know his mimic his voice is mimicked and the statement was given to the investigating officer when he re refused to give the statement as a control sample so criminal tend to disguise their voices by mimicking some others voice and that is a difficulty in differentiating the auditory between mimic and the original voice as we know that auditory of mimic and the original seems to be same but when we do the spectrographic analysis it is quite you know when uh, a, when a forensic expert do the critical examination of spectrographic analysis of this uh, you know original and mimic voices there are some you know differences in the original and mimic that we have that we will see in the next further slides so the methodology that i have followed is that i have taken the sample collection i did the sample collection i collected the original voice sample the mimic voice sample and the specimen voice sample of the person so original voice sample i have taken you know like i have downloaded the uh, the very famous uh, bollywood dialogues of the you know bollywood artist and uh, the people who are good at mimicry i have taken the the sample from them who were mimicking the dialogue of the bollywood artist and i have also taken the specimen voice of the dubbing artist the mimic artist which is his normal voice then i did the auditory analysis for which i used the goldberg version 4.21 wherein firstly we did the segregation of clue words like for example when i am speaking there are a number of words which i am uh, speaking so we take some clue words from the from the speech and we try to compare the original and the mimic voice of the same clue words then we do the critical listening one to one listening of all the words and the critical you know critical listening means we will listen each and everything very carefully this will be the auditory analysis then on the third part we do the spectrographic analysis wherein we uh, you know we uh, do the examination like wide band spectrograms has been found narrow band spectrograms has been found and lpc has been done and for this particular spectrographic analysis i have used the multi speech software 
Now I would like to show you a sample, one of the sample which I have taken. Just a minute. Oh, I have to, you know, lower down it. Uh, Vernika, the voice is not coming to us. Do one thing. Stop your yeah. screen share. Okay. When you are, uh, now stop your screen share. Okay. Just, uh, Am I audible now? Yes, you're audible. Uh, when you are sharing your screen, you can see a share sound option below the window. Yes. 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 Click on that and then start it. Post only and all participants. That is the option that I see. No, no, no. When you're sharing your screen, right? Huh? Uh, there's an option. Share. Sound. Okay. Share sound. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so that much. And then uh, do your paper. Uh, your paper. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, please let me know if uh, you can hear Ye it. Kaha tha, Katia. Okay, so this is the original voice which I have downloaded from the YouTube uh, and uh, you Ye can see. Kaha tha, Loha pehla kar uska aakar badal deta hai. So this Ye is a famous dialogue of Sunny Deol and uh, I have taken the sample of mimic voice for, from the very good the mimic artist which uh, 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 you can see the mimicry. Ye kaha tha, Katia. And uh, the specimen voice of the same person who has mimicked the voice. Why I have taken the specimen voice that I will be discussing. Okay. So this was the original mimic and the specimen voice of the persons. And uh, let me now begin what auditory analysis we have done. When we were listening critically to all the samples that I have taken, I have noticed the sharpness, the loudness, the boldness, stretching of a particular alphabet or a word, the pauses while speaking, accent, everything has been, you know, uh, been listened carefully and noted down. So here I have uh, attached the screenshot of the word wherein I have, you know, for each particular clue word, like for example, I have written, for on the very first point, I have written P. Then second one is is the so original voice. Ke, uh, the 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 features of original voice and the features of mimic voice have been noted down in the auditory analysis. Then comes to the spectrographic analysis wherein wideband, narrowband, and LPC has been done. So what wideband spectrograms are wherein we are focusing on the energy that depict the formants, the frequency formants. And uh, the, uh, the narrowband spectrograms depicts the, you know, these are the horizontal band that depicts the harmonics of the glottal surface. Then LPC is the one which is used in audio signal processing and speech processing for representing the spectral envelope of a digital signal of speech in compressed form. So this is how the interface of the software look like when we do the wideband spectrogram, the very first one window, wherein in the very first window, uh, let me take the pointer. Okay. Link. So in the very first window, I have taken a clue word wherein, which is the original voice sample. And and in the second video uh, window, there is a mimic voice sample. Similarly, the, uh, the comparison has been done with the original and the specimen, mimic and specimen also. So there are the differences that I have seen when I was comparing, and these are the significant differences which we have seen. So we have, you know, compiled all the data and I have taken the formants. Let me show you what formants are. So these are the, some dark bands which we can see in these particular windows. These are called the frequency formants. The, the finger prints like for example we have uh, unique fingerprints in the similar manner a person has voice prints these are called as the voice prints so whatever we are speaking we can see in the print form in that particular spectrogram so when we are speaking loudly you can see the darkness of the spectrogram has been increased when we speak slowly the darkness has been decreased so the intensity of these bands indicate the loudness and the, uh, the this uh, other thing of the uh, the voice so this is what I have uh, taken the no, the data or uh, compiled the data of all the formats and uh, we have noticed down the darkest harmonic value of each particular uh, sample and the very uh, significant thing which I have noticed from all this thing is that 
we have plotted the graph between F3 and all the clue words. For example, this Mazdoor ka hath hai katia, this was the dialogue. And the, this blue one indicates the original sample, orange one indicates the mimic sample. And we can see the differences between F3, the formants of original and mimic. But when I've taken the, uh, the average difference between mimic and original sample, I have seen that when we have difference in the original and mimic sample, so we can clearly see in this graph that the difference is less. But here in the, the average F3, the difference was quite, quite significant. That means when we are taking the original and mimic voice sample, so the difference in F3 formants or greater than that will be more than the one which are lower in uh, formants. Also, we can see the graph of pitch, which is here, like mimic and original voice samples. The blue one indicates the original and orange one is mimic. So you can see the difference between orange and mimic voice sample. But it, again, it depends upon, like, for example, uh, upon person to person. He, if he is increasing the pitch while imitating or he is lower down his uh, pitch while imitating. So it depends on a person to person. But the significant difference which we can see is an average F2 difference and average F3 difference. And the conclusion that I have drawn from this, uh, my research work is that spectrographs cannot be fooled. Even if you, the auditory is similar, but spectrographs cannot be fooled. But this is only in the case of mimicry. I have not taken the case wherein the electronic voice modulation has been done. So the even though the person can do a very good mimicry of any person, still through auditory analysis, forensic experts can find out few words from mimic and the original voice sample and differentiate them on the basis of the phonetics. Through spectrographic analysis, the intonation, fundamental frequency, formants value and detail examination can be done. And there will always be a significant difference between mimic and original voice sample in the value of third format, which I have seen from, the, from my study. And there is one more point about the darkest harmonic band, which is at the same position of both mimic and original voice sample. This is a very interesting point, which I have seen in my study, is that there is a harmonic band, which is the darkest band. And when a person tries to, you know, copy someone, to copy the voice of someone, he tries to match the harmonic value of his voice. So it appears to be in same range, while at the same position in specimen voice, the value goes in different rate. So when, when we take the control sample from the person who tried to mimic the voice of another person, we can check the harmonic value, harmonic band, and it will be found to be in a different range, which will show us that this person was trying to disguise the voice intentionally. And the shifting of dark, darkest harmonic from specimen voice is to match the value with the mimic voice could be the reason of similar auditory of mimic and the original voice, while spectrographically it is not. So we can conclude with that the spectrographs cannot be fooled. So I will conclude my study till here. Thank you so much.